Hello creative friends and happy new year. We're about to reopen the Création CC store and I have here two of the items that will be up for sale very soon. These small wall calendars come in two different versions. So one that was done in watercolor and the other is digital. I'll come back to these in a minute, but just as a side note, I'm super happy to say that yes, the mini watercolor journals will be coming back and they are slightly bigger and better than the first ones. The best way to find out about anything store related is to make sure you're signed up to our newsletter. So you just have to go to our website at www.creationcc.com and add your email address in the sign up to our newsletter box. Okay, back to the calendars. Now this is the one that I made with watercolors and each original paintings are six by six and the full process of these was actually the December reward for the five dollar a month members. So if you're interested in watching that video you can head on over to patreon.com forward slash cc and I will make sure to leave the link in the description. The other style was done digitally. I don't know how to pronounce this properly. Digitally with Procreate on my iPad. And I thought that for this video, it'd be fun to paint them traditionally with watercolors. So here is my little challenge for today is to recreate all four of these with watercolors. Okay, so we're gonna start with the first quarter, which is January, February, and March. And the main color is blue with a bit of blush and gold. Uh, for the blue, I'm going to use Prussian blue. And I think because it's such a bright blue, I'm going to mix in a bit of the lunar blue and we're going to get a nice granulation from this. The brush I'm using is a number 10 uh, caviar by Dynasty. It's a round brush. It looks like I've got a couple of major blobs right here. Oh, this is way too bright. Okay, I'm going to fix that. So I'm going to grab a bit of Blue Appetite Genuine. Oh yeah, now that color pleases me more. <laughs> and so I'm going to install another one here. And it looks like I'm fading that down. The differences between digital and traditional art is quite dramatic, I have to say. And it's the first time I'm doing the reverse. I've done traditional to digital. Not often, I don't do digital, digital often. But the reverse is, um, it's something. <laughs>
gonna switch to the number two round brush. I'll grab sepia. And I'll start from this side here. Now to do those leaves, it's quite simple, but it's something that you need to practice. So I always start with the stem. So I'll do a straight stem. And the major of the leaves are gonna be here. So I'm gonna line up my stem, go up with very little pressure. And then once I get to the spot where I want to add the leaf, I will flatten my brush by adding some pressure, going up and then releasing the pressure. I'll do the same twice.
All right, so let's trim these. I'm just using a regular Fiskars 12 inch trimmer. Nothing fancy, mine is a very old model, but they still make them. And they're available on Amazon. I'm just telling you because I always get questions about this. There we go. I find my goal is more yellow than usual. No, it goes like this. Yeah. I think um, that peachy color is too dark. But uh, it's fun. I like it. Next we have spring. Oh! I knew there was something missing. We forgot to add the white. I could have darkened the sky a bit as well, but um, at this point, I think, um, I don't think it's worth risking uh, damaging the trees. So maybe if you want to try this at home, may I suggest that you start with the sky first, like give it a light coat, maybe that color, and then do your trees and then go back and add a little bit of blue. Maybe add a little bit more weight to the trunks and They've gone green. And it's the little details at the end that I enjoy adding. I think this is my favorite. What do you think? I really like this one. I think it was also because I had so much fun doing the leaves. And I think the framing is just so enjoyable. And yeah, that's the one that I thought um, I was going to enjoy the most. But um, I don't know. What about adding... A couple of white dots in this pinkish color. A little bit over here and here. And this. I don't know why I had the urge to do this, but I had to, and I like it. So here they are. I think these would make sweet cards or little frames to display on your walls or even give us gifts. I think they're very simple, but they're cute. I have to say that the process of going from digital to traditional was a challenge. Working with watercolors, you have to make decisions before you put brush to paper because some things cannot be removed or lifted or even erased, which you can easily do digitally. There goes that word again. However, there's just some effects that are difficult to render properly on a, in a, on a, in a digital way. <laughs> That's what I did digitally. You can't beat the real watercolor properties. It's just so unique. So it's difficult for me anyways to replicate uh, on a tablet. Bottom line is this simple exercise taught me things. I made four little paintings quite quickly and I'm ready for the next ones. 
Again, don't forget to sign up for the newsletters at Création CC's website and visit the Patreon page for more videos. All the links as well as the supplies list will be in the description below. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'm looking forward to reading your comments. As usual, I want to say a big thank you to my awesome patrons who support my creative journey over at Patreon and provide financial support for supplies and equipment so that I can continue publishing free content here on YouTube. I'm very grateful. Thank you all so very much for watching. May 2021 bring you what you need to nourish your body and soul. Be well, stay safe and creative, and I will see you soon.